Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon. We're looking at the P51H in the Boom and Zoom game. The Mustang line is probably my favorite in the game. It uh, is characterized by just awesome energy retention. Pretty light guns. You need a lot of gun time on target to actually, you know, hurt your target. But for the most part, the plane just travels really quickly, it climbs really well, and it can do a lot of mixed maneuvers while keeping its speed up. A lot of the other planes in the game just don't. I mean, you you try to make a tight turn with another plane and you drop like a rock or even in some cases you just completely stall out. Uh, the P-51H does not have that problem and the Mustangs in general they're able to use that speed to get to where they want whether it's halfway across the map whether you need a teammate who needs help right now whether you have to climb to space and back it doesn't really matter the P-51s can get there this gives the plane a very high theoretical upside because if you can be anywhere that means you can influence a lot of different battles and it's all up to you on how to make that happen. There are other planes like the GA. They just cannot participate in high altitude battles. That's never going to happen. So there are some places of the map where they just cannot influence. So this F2G and I are actually going to scissors with each other. We do can see that we are going to roll and we're going to turn towards each other. This is very common to do on a head-on pass. And so now we're kind of turning it into a rolling scissors. Each one of us is trying to out-turn the other one and get a little more gun time. Now, why am I doing this? Because the P51 does not have as good of a turn rate as the F2G. Well. The scissors maneuver is very useful when you have an advantage in roll rate, so I can get into the turns quicker. Also, the P51H, and this is very underrated, uh, you can see now that I'm drastically outturning him. Why is that? It's because the F2G bleeds a lot of speed while it's turning. So he actually dropped outside of his optimal speed. I have not, and that reduces his turning rate. So the purpose of that scissors maneuver was not necessarily to get behind him right away or even eventually, it was to bleed his speed off and now when I have an energy advantage on him, then uh, I can outturn him. I broke off the engagement because if you look at the mini-map there were a lot of other targets that were closing in on me and I did not want to get blasted out of the sky by a heavy. One of the pros and cons of the Mustang line is you can see the tracers when they're flying towards the XP-50. They're all over the place, and that's actually on purpose. The U.S. planes were convergence firing, so they were meant the bolts were meant to converge on a specific points a couple hundred meters in front of the plane. It wasn't meant to go directly straight. So this kind of creates kind of a cone in front of you and that makes it pretty easy to hit planes but it also means that when they're a little farther away you're just going to kind of tickle the plane a little bit so there's some pros and there's some cons uh, however when you get up really close to the enemy you're going to be able to deal a ton of damage because now all those bullets are just getting pulled into the enemy plane so you can see that in all these mixed maneuvers, even outside of my optimal altitude, the plane keeps its speed up incredibly well. And a lot of the time with the Mustang line, I have to actually cut the throttle, or here I'm trying to do a yo-yo because I'm just getting too close. The F4U1 turns a little bit too tightly for me, so I needed to get some space between us. But the problem is I goofed, and a heavy comes by and nearly kills me because my... I, let my speed drop too terribly much and made myself incredibly vulnerable. And right after making that one mistake, why not make the same mistake right away? So I'm pretty low energy and I'm trying to follow the LA-9 into the vertical and here comes the heavy again and I can't dodge because I'm just moving too slow. So make a mental note for next time. I need to keep my speed up. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.